And it looks like our prediction has come true because the pairings have come down to a match that I think is a promoter's dream and a fan's dream, and that is you against Cactus Jack. You are going to have to defeat Cactus Jack to continue in the tournament, Terry. He's just a little bit different, you know that, Joe? This guy, he's a shady character. Something's wrong with him upstairs or something, you know. And I just, I, I know he'll he'll cut a lot of lines or, or cut a lot of ropes to do anything that he can. And I just like for him to know and everybody else out there to know that Terry Bam Bam Gordy, and you already know, swings a cheer better than anybody in professional wrestling. Well, I'm sure it is going to be one of the wildest brawls we've ever seen. You, of course, one of the top stars in global wrestling, also in the world today, and you will be facing a member of the cartel. He's the last chance the cartel has to win the tournament. So let's be look looking for Terry Gordy to take on Cactus Jack. In the North American Heavyweight Championship Tournament, defeated Gary Young in round number one, and Brian Lee in the second round. But in this round, he's going to face a very large man. So by the way, it's quite popular in the crowd, as you'll find out in a moment. for this event. Classic, Scott Hudson. No doubt about it. Terry Gordy, international star. Cactus Jack also has been wrestling overseas for quite some time, although not near to the extent that Terry Gordy has. Two classic brawlers. Cactus Jack getting the first move, so to speak. Cactus Jack really handling Terry Gordy early, but there's Gordy coming back. Gordy with two rights. Make a three on Cactus Jack outside of the ring. When you take a look at the scouting report on this one, you think of Terry Gordy as the brawler. He's slimmed down, maybe quicker than Cactus Jack, plus the championship experience definitely on his side. Meanwhile, Cactus Jack very unpredictable, but not affected by injury. Going in against Terry Gordy, that may be a factor. These two men face off, one man in, the other man out. Cactus Jack using the headbutt to give him the ability to come back in. But Gordy answers with a right. The right foot right into the midsection, but Cactus Jack answers with two blows of his own. These two guys going toe to toe. The first of three semifinal matchups in the North American Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Forearm delivered by Cactus Jack. Reversal by Gordy into the corner. Cactus Jack with a left boot up. Tried to deliver the clothesline to seal it. Ducking under twice as Gordy and Gordy delivers the clothesline. Cactus Jack had nowhere to go. You Going heard that. the cover. One, two. Gordy with the two count. You could hear that corner clothesline from Terry Gordy on Cactus Jack all the way at our announcer's position, Craig. That hurt to hear. Terry Gordy with the oh. clothesline into the corner. Terry Gordy, Triple Crown Tag Team Champion, former UWF World Heavyweight Champion, multiple tag team titles with the Freebirds. Now on his own, going after the big one, the North American title. Now into a standing figure four if he reverses it. Somewhat like an Indian deadlock or a scorpion deadlock, actually. A move certainly learned from watching many of the greats as a concerned look on the fans here at the Global Dome that you don't know what to expect from Cactus Jack, but he's in a bad way now as Gordy is almost in the position to turn Cactus over and make this into a full scorpion, reminiscent of Sting. 
as Sting has had, well, the ultimate success, winning the World Heavyweight Championship using the Scorpion Deathlock. In the WCW organization. And now, with it fully applied, Cactus Jack will try to escape by getting to the ropes, then he does. James Beard will call for the break. Gordy staying right on top, however. Into the ropes, drop kick by Terry Gordy. And we talk about how slim down Terry Gordy is. Regardless of that, that's still 250 some odd pounds going up in the air for a drop kick. Delivering the right is Terry Gordy, bam, bam, with another one right to the side of the head until a rake of the eyes by Cactus Jack breaks the momentum. Double axe handle to the top of the head. Sends Gordy into the corner. Coming out of the corner. Bulldog delivered by Cactus Jack. Goes for the cover. Down to two. I'm going to say no matter how big you are, a rake to the eyes will equalize you anytime. And Cactus still in control after that one small maneuver. Attempting to go for a pile driver one time. Now Gordy powers him back into the corner. And Cactus Jack having to release the hole and Gordy taking advantage with a quick but legal break. Two shots into the midsection and the big forearm lands on the forehead of Cactus Jack. Gordy going to work, short clothesline, delivered with a left arm, sends Cactus Jack down, count of two by James Beard. And Cactus Jack in a seesaw battle with Terry Gordy, both men having the upper hand, only to be bested by the other very shortly thereafter. Gordy picks him up, sets him down. Using the top of the boot to deliver a blow. That time the knee on target. Cactus Jack with a thrust kick using the left. Now possibly going for a clothesline and gets it as Gordy now trapped in the corner. Snapmare into the rear chin lock. Terry Gordy. Chasing after the elusive GWF North American Heavyweight Championship. You mentioned earlier that he is a former UWF World Heavyweight Championship. That title was formed from the old North American Championship. In the UWF, the last place to recognize the North American champion, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, that title was deemed defunct, if you'll forgive that grammatical reach. And the UWF World title was formed in the tournament, won by Terry Gordy. Gordy now going for the new North American Heavyweight Championship here in the GWF. And trying to uh, derail that Gordy Express for the championship is Cactus Jack as he set him on a track right for the steel post. And now oh, no. Cactus Jack thinks he may be going for the hip buster and delivers it. Cactus Jack with a hip buster as Gordy scratching his head trying to... Regain some consciousness if he's lost any. <laughs> Covering for count of two, almost three, Cactus Jack. James Beard had to stop himself from making that three count. James Beard, the official, the third man in the ring. We've got to take a break. Don't go away. You won't miss a moment of the action when you stay tuned. Cactus Jack sends Gordy over, delivers the elbow, but Gordy comes back. That right came way back and was delivered well. Gordy sends Cactus Jack into the corner, follows him in, but followed him a little too closely as Cactus Jack got that big boot up. Drapes Gordy over the middle rope. Back to the rope goes Cactus Jack up and down. That middle rope, the white rope, right on Gordy's throat, and Cactus Jack forcing Gordy's head onto the rope. That's got to take it out of someone like Terry Gordy. I don't care how big you are, how many titles you've won, how great you are in Japan, having your throat draped over a, a third a middle ring rope and having someone like Cactus Jack jump on your back is going to take it out of you. Count of two by referee James Beard. Both men thus far in the match have two near falls to their credit. But it's the count of three that will send you into the finals. 
this European tournament, three European type tournament rather, right. three men go into the finals, two men will wrestle in a playoff, the winner of the coin flip goes directly into the championship match, and you'll see all of that. Cactus Jack trying to maintain the advantage with an unorthodox face lock. Now with the arm firmly planted on the chin until he plants a couple of forearms to the back of Terry Gordy. Bam Bam tries to come back. Into the ropes goes Gordy, ducks under the elbow once, twice. Gordy comes from the rope. All oh, that momentum, and there's classic Bam Bam. Cactus Jack nearly had his head taken off with that clothesline from Bam Bam Terry Gordy. Gordy sends Cactus Jack into the ropes, delivers the clothesline with a right arm. Cactus Jack almost looks like it has an effect on him, but he goes for the oriental spike. The spike implanted. But a break of the hold now as Cactus Jack gets over to that middle rope. James Beard calling for the break of the hold. Cactus Jack able to take advantage of an opening. Delivers a pile driver on Terry Gordy. That's a maneuver that's been banned in several wrestling federations. Legal here in the GWF, the pile driver. Count of one broken by the foot on the rope by Terry Gordy. You'd mentioned earlier in the tournament how Terry Gordy gained his fame by delivering pile drivers. Well, that particular pile driver just a few moments ago almost put him out of this tournament. And to the rail goes Terry Gordy. Cactus Jack picks him up, puts him down, and it looks like Cactus is a little woozy. Cactus is a little woozy walking down the aisle before the match ever started, but he's a little woozier. Watch out, he goes up to the middle rope. What in the world is he planning here? He comes down, but oh. this is landing on the floor. Gordy picking up the ringside match. Throws him away. He throws another man away. He has Cactus Jack up for the pile driver and it's a power bomb onto the hardwood floor here at the Global Dome. Terry Gordy, a power bomb on Cactus Jack onto the arena floor. No match, no nothing. And I think they're going to count Cactus out. Let's get the official word on this one. This match. We've got to go back and take a look at the power bomb on the floor. There you see the results. Here's how it happened. Gordy picking up Cactus Jack brings him down onto the hardwood floor. Good for a count out. And we'll return. <laughs> 